Hi there, this is Sai at Lakeland Ascents and Highland Ascents. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk you through the different types of mountaineering boot that you can find on the market. And we're going to explain the B0 to B3 rating that comes with them. And what we'll do as well is we'll talk about the types of terrain that each boot are suitable for. Finally, what we'll do is we'll have a look at how the B0 to B3 rating uh, links to the C1, C2, C3 crampon rating and just briefly talk about which crampons therefore are appropriate to fit on each type of boot. But what we're not going to do is go into loads of detail about the crampons. We'll do that in a separate video. Um, so if you're keen to learn more about crampons, how to fit them, what crampons go with which boot, have a look in the uh, description below. We'll put a link to that video. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, first things first then, let's start at the beginning. So what we've got here is a B1 boot. Um, and if we look at it, it looks like quite a sturdy walking boot. So we've got a really good kind of leather rand around the front to protect the boot and to protect your toes. You know, it's quite high, so there's a lot of kind of ankle protection. And it's made from a mixture of sort of leather and, and the synthetic material. It's also got a kind of Gore-Tex membrane um, to keep your feet dry and a really good grip on the foot. Uh, but critically for us, what's important here is how flexible it is. So if we look at it and flex it, we can see that it flexes super easily, which means that for long distances and sort of rocky terrain in the mountains, it's going to be really comfortable while still giving your foot a uh, really good support. Okay. Um, but if we look at the back of it, and this is important for crampon fit, you'll see that the heel area is pretty smooth. Okay. There's no little ledge on the back of the heel there, which would enable us to fit a particular type of crampon that we'll look at in a minute. So we can fit a crampon to a B1 boot, but what we'd be looking for is a crampon that flexes with the boot. And the idea there is that as the boot flexes, it doesn't push the crampon off the boot, okay, or create the crampon to come loose on the boot. So what we'd be looking for is a C1 crampon, um, which is essentially a walking crampon, and if you look, this crampon flexes really nicely, okay, with the boot as you walk, okay. So we can fit a C1 crampon to a B1 boot, no problem, and that's going to essentially look like this. And the way it sort of attaches at the back is, you know, it sort of hugs the back of the boot with this kind of plastic cradle, and then there's a series of sort of straps on the front which keeps it nice and tight. Like I say, we can look at how we fit this properly to the boot in another video. Just subscribe, have a little look at the links below, and you'll find that you'll find that video there. Okay, so let's just move on then, get those out of the way. The next step up is a B2 boot, and the difference here is that I mean it looks a little bit more technical, doesn't it? But essentially. We've got similar features, you know, we've got a sort of synthetic membrane on this one, we've still got a Gore-Tex lining, we've still got the rand around the front, uh, but the key difference, apart from a little bit of extra warmth potentially in the boot, which would make it more suitable for the kind of colder months, um, is that there's just very little flex, okay? So there is some flex, but if I try and do that, you can sort of see it does bend, but nothing like the sort of flex on the B1 boot, okay? But what that basically means is that when we're using this boot in, in the winter environment on sort of more technical terrain, or steeper terrain, or icier terrain, we've got the advantage of a really stiff uh, last, a really stiff sole, okay? Um, for kicking into the snow, creating little steps, and making kind of safe progress around the mountain. Um, but we still do have a little bit of flex in there, which means that your B2 boot not only is going to be great for kind of winter walking on more technical terrain, for easier winter mountaineering, but it's also going to be pretty comfy for long winter days. So for winter walking, easier mountaineering, a B2 boot is definitely what we would recommend. Um, we can fit a crampon to a B2 boot, and what we'd be looking for here is what's called a C2 crampon. And uh, the C2 crampon looks very similar to the C1 crampon that we looked at earlier, but it does have this little bale on the back. And what that bale does is it sits quite neatly 
on a little ledge that is on the back of the uh, heel area of a B2 boot. So that's the key difference, really. I mean, obviously, it's not, it's not as flexible as the B1 boot, but the B2 boot will have that little ledge on the back to enable you to, to clip your crampon on nice and securely. The crampon itself looks more aggressive. Like I say, we'll look back and look at that in another video. So essentially what we've got is a system here that is more suited to more technical um, terrain in the mountains. Just to kind of digress and just go back to the B1 uh, boot, you know, it's a great boot for winter walking. It's kind of a, it's sort of a three season boot essentially. Um, but the three seasons I would choose would be sort of spring, there'd be uh, autumn and there would be, it would be winter, but on easier terrain. So kind of easier sort of rolling lakeland fells, that sort of thing. But as soon as I get into sort of higher mountains or onto more technical terrain, I'd be getting my B2s out without a doubt. B2s are also a great boot in the summer for scrambling and that, that kind of stiff edge again is just going to really enable you to stand on kind of smaller ledges um, on, on scrambling terrain and just give you that sort of support and uh, protection around your foot on, on rocky ground. So, you know, we quite often use a B2 uh, for kind of summer scrambling days out when it's not super hot anyway. Um, so a great all-round boot really, definitely one to have in your armoury. So moving on to the last, um, the last boot in the B02 sort of B3 rating, and this is a B3. Um, so it looks completely different, as you can see. Um, all B3 boots are different. This is a Scarpa Phantom Tech, um, and you can see it's kind of got this sort of external gaiter, which just kind of keeps the snow out of your boot, and means that you don't necessarily have to wear a, a separate gaiter. It also has a sort of inner boot and an outer boot, and although they don't come apart, is this outer boot does just provide a little bit more insulation and protection. But aside from that, with this B3, um, the real kind of key difference again is the flex. So if I try and flex this, there's absolutely nothing or hardly any flex at all, which basically means that when my crampons are biting into steep ice or kind of steep mixed terrain, I've got this nice flat supportive ledge essentially to stand on, uh, which means I'm not getting loads of calf pump. I can climb more effectively on steeper ground. Um, the flip side of that is for long days in the mountains when you're kind of walking quite a long way, you're not going to have any flex and you will find that a B3 boot is less comfortable um, for that sort of that sort of day. However, you know, if, you, if you're used to it, they're totally fine, um, but they're not as sort of, um, sort of useful as a B2 boot for sort of all sorts of different winter, winter terrain, if you see what I mean. Um, the other key difference that you'll see with this uh, B3 is that we've got a lip at the front of the boot as well. So we've got a lip at the back, just like the B2, which means it's going to take a C2 crampon, no problem whatsoever. So a C2 crampon, just for a reminder, we've got the plastic uh, cradle at the front, and we've got the plastic bail at the back. Okay, so that's going to work totally fine on my B3 boot. But what I can also do is put a C3 crampon on. And again, if you want to know more about crampons, hit the link in the description below. We've got C3 here, super stiff, so it's not going to flex much at all. Um, it's got a sort of slightly different design, but same idea, it's just a different brand of crampon. We've got our little kind of clip at the back here, but we've also got this metal bale at the front, which just enables us to get a really super secure fit, okay, with absolutely no movement at all between our crampon and our boot. Um, and if you look at the crampon briefly as well, you'll see it just looks a lot more aggressive than the ones we've looked at before. Okay, so you can just see how that front bale fits on that front ledge. So my C3 crampon here isn't going to work on my B2 boot because my B2 boot just doesn't have that ledge. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. You know, you, you've got to look at the boot, you've got to look at the terrain you're going in, and then you've got to make sure you get the right crampon that not only fits your boot, um, but is appropriate to the to the terrain you're going in. And just as a side, the B0, we haven't mentioned it because it's not a mountaineering boot, it's a summer hiking boot. So something like this, for example, um, lots of different versions. This has got quite a low uh, sort, of, uh, sort of heel area here, supportive area, but you do get higher ones. Um, you know, it's super flexible, super comfortable for sort of long summer days out. 
usually have like a canvas upper, I'm sure you've all seen them, your kind of classic summer trekking boot. Uh, yeah, we could bodge a fully flexible C1 crampon onto this boot, but you know, there's going to be loads of movement between the two and we're not going to have any kind of stiffness at all to kind of move around on icy terrain. So uh, not suitable for winter, for the winter environment at all. You want a minimum of a B2, but absolutely brilliant for, you know, summer kind of rocky long days in the mountains. Okay, that's us. So if you want to know more, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, more people will see it, which is great for us and hopefully great for them as well, because maybe they'll learn some new stuff. And uh, like I say, you know, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be throwing loads of new videos out there, stuff on crampons, stuff about how to look after cells in the winter environment, but also loads of stuff on summer mountaineering, scrambling, trad climbing, and, and kit, and, and all sorts of other exciting things. So thanks very much. Bye for now. Thank you.